Well, let's talk about um, present perfect, yeah, because it's one that causes a lot of problems, actually, in OET. So let's talk about present perfect then. Okay, yeah. so where can you use it? Where should you use it? Um, let's talk about the, let's just go back to the usual thing of what does a letter look like, right? So a letter looks like this, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What am I drawing here, Elder? In the, in the request and... Um, yeah, okay. You don't usually need to use present perfect in requests, yes. although you could, you could, um, but usually not, okay? Yeah. Um, you, you can actually, I'll start off with present perfect in the intro because you can use it here. Did you know? Yeah, he has been admitted. Yeah, um, well, oh, she, yeah. I suppose you could say he has been, um, oh, I wouldn't use it like that. That might, that might go wrong a little bit. He has been admitted. I'm writing regarded, regarding Mr. Jones who has been admitted to hospital recently due to, she is now. I'm usually... Um, I would stay in past, past simple for that. Yeah, past simple, I'm using they, It's not that that's wrong either, but it just, it's a bit dangerous using it like that, who <laughs> has been admitted. So I don't like that. But usually you can use it, you can say, imagine this guy's been attending a lot of times. That's when you use present perfect. So you would say like, who has been visiting, right? Oh, yeah, who has been visiting our facility. Yeah. Now, this is present perfect continuous. Yeah. Slightly, but the same yeah. meaning. You could use yeah. present perfect as well. You can say who has, uh, who has visited most recently. What we're saying there is that it's repeated action, repeated ongoing yeah, yeah. action. Okay. So in the exam, you might get a guy who has gone to the clinic many times. Mm -hmm. In that case, you could use present perfect or, or present perfect continuous like this. All right. Mm -hmm. It just means that he he's done it lots of times in the he he did it a lot in the past. Yeah. And and maybe he will continue. Right. That's the idea. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's not too difficult. Just look out. Yeah. For, that's yeah, more yeah. kind of for doctors as well, to be honest, because doctors are always talking about patients who visit many times okay you nurses you're not some yeah you know, it could happen it could happen in the exam but usually there's not so many visits for you guys okay mm -hmm. now um you're interested in the timeline aren't you right yes. that's, that's the key <laughs> thing so let's go to this yeah. so here's the timeline in my sandwich i'm going to do it green because that's this is the lettuce yeah How <laughs> all right so this is my lettuce timeline lettuce okay now, um, someone said to me yesterday, um, we were doing a one-to-one. -one, it was really great. She was like, a timeline is like this. Past, 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 past. And then the last line. Right. Present. present. Yeah, right. And I said that in a class once, and, I, and, and she made me realize, yeah, that's that's... You know, I forgot that I said that. <laughs> I should say that more because what are we trying to do in a timeline? What's the purpose to of tell a the story, you know, what's happened in the past? Yeah, we're telling a story, aren't we? So we start at the beginning and we move to the end. Okay. Sometimes you have a very big timeline. Sometimes, Sometimes like, like Maria de Santo, you have like a very, very short timeline, but you still have to give a sense of time, this idea that time is moving, okay? Like you say, present perfect, where should I use it here? Well, what do you think? Where's the best place to use it? Present perfect, like you know, in the last uh, sentence, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. at the end, okay? Yeah. Because present perfect is very confusing tense. It has both ideas of the past yes. And, yes, it and the present. You, you can't... So it confuses a lot of students because it's talking about almost like the past and the present. Mm -hmm. but, but for you, you should just think of it, this is a present tense. Okay? okay. We're talking about now. If I say, she has recovered well. She started in the past and she's still recovering. Yeah, she, it's like, it's like it. true at the end of the story, isn't it? Right? It's, yeah. true, it's true now. Yeah. Right? Even though, like you said, even though it started in the past, probably her recovery started maybe in the middle of the story after the mm -hmm. surgery, right? Yeah. But we can still say she has recovered well, right? So we often use present perfect here. She has recovered well. 
Um, we can use it. Imagine someone has prescribed medication. Yeah, here I'm a little bit worried. So, okay, uh, so let's say that you he was prescri- he's goes into hospital, and he pres- his prescription is given. Okay, mm-hmm. is it true now that he has a prescription? When you're right. Not, no, he don't have the prescription, but it's you know he's on that medications. Yeah, well, if I say, well, think about it. If I say, if I say he was prescribed, then that means that's finished. That means he's not yeah, taking yeah. it now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means not taking the medication now. Okay, but usually in the letter, he is going to continue taking the medication, right? Yeah. Like you said, it's true. In the past, what it, he was prescribed, but also right now, every day he takes his medication and in the future he will as well. Okay, so she or he, he has... Commenced. Uh, he, well, you could say he has commenced, but he's not the doctor, is he? So we need the passive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has been. Yeah, good. He has been commenced on, right? Excellent. Your grammar's good then, because some people get. Let, let, let's. I didn't talk about that. So active voice for present perfect is what's active voice? We say uh, subject plus. Where is it? Sorry. Active subject plus plus. Ver- Plus present perfect plus yeah, present. have or yeah. has right plus. I I would talk okay, sorry are you talking sorry, about. Yeah. I'm just talking about the structure of present perfect right. If it's in the active voice, it's subject plus have or has plus verb three. Yeah, very right. Yeah. So, f- give me an example of present perfect. Anything, anything you like. I. Uh, present. Uh. uh you said I that have, you were, you were with your been, children recently, yeah? yeah? So I, I have... I have been busy. <laughs> ah, but I have been busy. Yeah, okay. Give me another example, though, because that might confuse some people. So I have... I have been I, I have been working very hard. Well, before this class, you told me that you picked up your children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So I have I, picked up my children. I, yeah. That mm-hmm. means that they're not at school now, right? They're in the house. Yeah. That's it's the same idea, right? It's it's true now, even mm-hmm. though it was a past action. Okay? Yeah. Like I have closed the window. I have closed the window. Mm-hmm. Is the window closed now? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I have closed the window. Okay. So, but the passive, you've got to be very careful with this. Yeah, I know. Is the yeah. What's what's the structure of passive of the passive? It's passive uh, perfect. You just told me. You just did it correctly. It was oh, yeah. has been. It has been, yeah. A plus. Um, he has been commenced on. Form. Yeah, the search. So you did that automatically, right? But it's worth reviewing it. He has been commenced on blah, blah, blah. We change the structure to passive and we say, hmm. s- ah, is it going to be the subject? Do we start sentences with the subject? No, it's the object. Object. So we have object plus what? Plus have or has? Mm -hmm. Plus Plus been. That's the extra one. And then plus? V3, a third form. Okay. So um, let's, I'll give you another example. So say you're writing your timeline and Mm -hmm. there's a a wheelie walker. What's a wheelie walker? Yeah, yeah. A wheelie walker is a a help patient, you know. Okay. So it's in the past. They, they gave him a wheelie walker in the past, but he still has it now. It's still true now that he has a wheelie walker. What could you say? Uh, he, has, he has been... No, he has been... Yeah, yeah, it's passive. Yeah, he, is, yeah. he has been... Advise, advise to use a wheelie walker. There you go. Advise, advise that will do, to use a wheelie walker. Or I was thinking you could say he has been given... Yeah, he has been. Often in in OET for nurses, they get given some equipment. Yeah. So you can use passive like, he has been (laughs) given a wheelie walker. Give me another example of something that you might give to a patient uh, for when he leaves. He has been given a... Given a... (laughs) Booklet, right, about his condition. He has been given a... 
<laughs> what do we give patients? Come on, think about it. We give them booklets, we give them wheelie walkers. Uh, what do we give patients? We give uh, medications. Uh, pers- yeah, he's yeah. been given medication. Um, we give them advice, like you said. Advice. He has been advised. Uh, we give them walking sticks. Yeah. What's that one which is like this and you... Willy Walker. He's a Willy Walker. Oh, I w- you could also call that a frame as well. Oh, frame, a wa- yeah. Walking frame. frame. Yeah, frame. Okay. So just try and... Re- I'll take some questions in a second, but look, it's about recovering, right? Mm-hmm. Present perfect at the end of your story. It's about starting something, starting some medication, commenced yeah. on. It's about being given equipment, all right? There's one other great situation where you can use present perfect. So here is recovery, right? Just so you remember, this one is, one second. We've got medication, we've got equipment. There's There's another situation. And imagine you would, you know, like how with patients, they don't always do what you tell them, right? They're very badly behaved sometimes, yeah. especially the older ones, right? Because they think they know everything. <laughs> so we can use present perfect when you give advice, right? And the patient does not do it. For example, let's imagine, Elder, you say to him, let's say it's a clinic, right? You're not in the hospital. It's a clinic visit, okay? And in the past, you say, on the 13th of October, you say to him, Mr. Jones, you must quit smoking. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you get to the end of your story and he did not do it. How can I use present perfect here? Uh, he did not quit smoking. He has... Uh, it's easy, it's easy. He has not. He has not... Quit. Quit smoke, quit smoke, smoking. Yeah, that's it. So you might say in, in OET, you might say, please note. Yeah. Right? He has not. And yeah. despite, help me out here, Elder, despite. Despite the advice. You know. The advice we gave. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Now, I don't know if you, it's strange that you asked me about present perfect because did you see the Skype? I was, I was posting about present perfect. I- I saw them some last night, but I was, yeah, I saw that, but I wanted to be 100% sure, you know. Yeah, well, let me let me go through now. It's, it's very simple. So what happens is you've got to remember that present perfect is a present tense. Yeah, yeah. Right? And now it has ideas of the past, but it's pre- we're talking present. about now, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I have not, I have not shaved. I should mm-hmm. have shaved, right? So we're talking about in the past, I did not do something, but it's true now, right? That I did not shave, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, what do you think? Imagine you, you read a story, right? You're on a beach and you sit down, you read a story, and in the story it goes past, past, present. Is that a good story that's, that jumps into the present moment in the middle? Uh, doesn't look like a good story, but sometimes, you know. It's confusing because, look, it's not a good story in a letter, but it's, yeah. not, it's not wrong to use present perfect in the middle of your story. You, it just, it, it's not grammatically wrong. Wrong. It's just confusing. Not accurate. Right. Yeah. So, like, I'm just going to give you this advice now. Avoid using present perfect, even if it's correct. Right. Okay. Even if you think, oh, well, it's still true now, Alan. Don't do it because it's, it just confuses the reader because you're jumping around in time. Mm-hmm. OK, so avoid using present perfect in the middle or, or the beginning of your story. OK, ask me some questions. Go on. Mm, I think all the questions here. Now I'm more clear. Even, you know, I was... Um... Worry about if uh, if it's still relevant now, and I didn't know if I have to still have to use the past or the present perfect. Yeah. Well, relevant now is exactly right. Yeah, but just use it only at the end of your story. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's another thing I need to mention because um, obviously pause is relevant now, which is true. Um, but 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 what is it relevant now? Um, 
Well, let me just tell you about one other place you can use present perfect. Okay, you, let's say that you wanted to use it in your requests paragraph. Yeah, in your, in your right? request, yeah. When would be a specific situation to use present perfect? So relevant to now, right? Past event happened that is relevant to the present moment or has consequences. When we, when we give advices? Give me an example, go on, you try. Uh, so let's do it together. So I'll say in yes. view of the above, right? Yeah. In view of the above, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Uh, she, she, she has been advised to, for example, to have a healthy diet, to have a healthy diet. She yeah, has been a, yeah, yeah. Okay, but, but I would say please note, right? Yeah, yeah. Because the reader will not do it. Just, just mm -hmm. on, yeah. So please note, she has been advised. Yeah. So any advice, she has been advised to have a healthy diet and then you could say and so please note that she's advised on that and um she needs monitoring mm -hmm. right there you mm -hmm. go something like that is there any other situation where i could use present perfect here please note that she's advised to have a healthy diet advised like you said uh, when we give I give you know. a hint scheduled appointments oh yes yeah, scheduled appointments yeah so schedule let me put this here so this is for your i never i never realized that yeah advice of course you can use present perfect for advice okay so scheduled appointments uh, it happened in the past but it's true now right the appointment was made in the past but i still it, have an yeah. appointment now yeah an appointment has been scheduled uh, okay. yeah so you would say not please note it is yeah. It it's is important, important, to, important to, yeah, to note that. No comma. <laughs> yeah, no comma. That's driving me crazy today. <laughs> important to note that. Uh, an appointment has yeah. been, yeah. Has been? Scheduled. Scheduled. Blah, blah, blah. For me, yeah. So schedules, I think this is really, really good. I never really thought about advice in the request, but of course, of course you need that. Um, okay, so is there any other questions about present perfect? Because it does get really tricky. Um, okay, now, even if it's, you know, I will go with the past simple than, you know, timeline, if, even if it's, yeah, I'm not going let's, to mix it up anymore. Let's talk about that because, yeah, don't mix it up until the end. But also, yeah, so I'll put this here. Please note, um, Americans, I always say this, but Americans often do not use present perfect really? even when talking about things you know relevant to now right crazy right so america you know the american nation is very big yeah <laughs> they speak a lot of english and very often they don't they don't feel the need to use present perfect hardly ever so i think it's, it's useful to know that because if you're in the exam on Saturday and you think, I'm going to try and use present perfect here, right? But then if you get a doubt in your mind and you're thinking, well, oh, I don't know, is this true now? Or I don't know if it's relevant, to blah, blah, blah. Just say, well, I'll, go, I'll do past simple then. Okay. Because very often past simple will be okay. Right? We'll say yes. So, yeah. yeah. If unsure... Just use past simple. It won't be. It won't sound. It, it won't sound bad. That. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, one last point. You know, nurses don't really write current condition paragraphs, but I should probably tell you about that. Do you mm -hmm. ever? Do you know what I mean by current condition? Yeah. Have you ever written an essay where you have a separate paragraph for current condition? Do you ever do it like that? Um, the current condition, I don't remember to be honest, but I think this is what doctors do a lot, Elder. But I think yeah, I know. nurses should probably practice this more, right? But so with the current condition, we have to use you know the simple present, which which tense. Um, you're going to use mostly mostly present tense in the current condition, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so. All it is, is let's say that you, sometimes you get a nice discharge letter, okay? Yeah, and you can, get, you can get the, like today, right? And you can get, you can get everything you need can fit already into this. And it's like, no problem, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might get a really big 
set of case notes, all right? Mm -hmm. um, and often the reader is most interested in the present moment. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with discharge. Discharge, think about it. They don't they, really care about the past that much, right? Just have to summarize, yeah, yes. Yeah, they want to know about this one. Like, is he, can he walk now? Mm -hmm. right? They don't really care that he fell over two years ago, yeah? Yeah. So sometimes you might think, well, I'm going to have a separate paragraph for this where I only talk about, you know what I mean? I, I take the Correct. end of my yeah, story yeah, yeah. and I just put it in here. So it's exactly the same. You can use present perfect, right? But you just say something like, today right or currently he is recovering well blah blah yeah. blah okay okay so that's it really okay thank you it was very helpful <laughs> i'm more clear now i've got that plan with the sentence what sentence is <laughs> you sent me some writing but then you were working with paul have you have you i didn't know if you'd done all yeah that. i done that this is why i was a little bit confused because was different my own. Did you, you know? do you want me to, so is there any, yes. what I'm trying to say is, did Paul look at all of those or? Yeah, 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 but not yeah. this, uh, what I sent it to you now, I wrote it last night. Okay. Oh, you just sent me one now. Okay, great. Well, look, I'll look yeah. at that now and I'll give you some feedback on this. <laughs> but uh, your exam's on Saturday, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here, this is what I want you to do. Um, just write me a timeline. Okay, take any case notes. If you just want to practice, yeah. take some case notes that you know already. Okay, but but not Hilary DeSanto, because we did that this week. Yeah. And I want you to write me a nice timeline with present perfect in, used okay. correctly. Is okay. that all right? If you send it to me, I'll just quickly look at it. I'll tell you if it's correct or not. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, okay, so I think I'm just going to put mm -hmm. here. So homework. Right timeline <laughs> with present perfect. Any other questions before you? I mean, am I seeing you tomorrow? Yes, please. I'm going to do half an hour, one hour today. Today it has to be half an hour because I've got someone starting in, in about 10 minutes. So there's no rush, but I have uh, a 4-4-10 four, a four, class. Yes, so, okay, yeah. okay. Well, we can do an hour tomorrow if you want. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, well, have a think. So this is, you go away and write me a paragraph now then. OK, mm -hmm. and have a think tomorrow about what you want to um, work on. Yeah, to do, yeah. Some speaking, I will, yeah. Yeah, speaking or writing or, I mean, have you done much reading work? Um, non-stop reading, I'm doing non-stop. I'm never Good. stopped doing reading. OK. I'm, I'm sick of reading. <laughs> <laughs> OK, but if you feel like it, you know, we can do some reading together. If that makes you feel a bit more relaxed, OK? okay. All right. It's your choice, though. So I'll say goodbye now. Yeah, thank you very much for your help. My pleasure. And I'll send you a copy of this video. All right. Yeah. Take care. Then. Take care. See bye you later. Bye. See you later. Bye.